Darren, um, another home win in midweek in the FA Cup, um, becoming a bit of a fortress. You know, how do you see that home form? It's it's been the staple of your season. You know, it's just you're keeping it stable, you're keeping it high. Is it, I mean, you must be fairly happy with that. No, I've been delighted with the home form. Uh, you know, you're absolutely correct. We've picked up most of the points in the league. Won another couple of cup matches over the last week, so it's it's been really important for us. And it's something we did speak about at the start of the season. We wanted a really good home form. And it, it, psychologically, it's good for us. We're confident going into home games and we've got another one, obviously, on Saturday. After midweek game, the result you were happy with, I know mm. you weren't completely happy with the performance. D- are you expecting a sort of uh, improvement in that performance level against Burson on Saturday? Do you think you'll need that against, uh, you know, obviously a tough opponent? Yeah, look, I, I, the, the, what I said after the game and what we showed the players this morning, in the meeting and the post-match meeting is, is is just basically a compliment to the players really I think we know we've got more in there and we need to get back to the standards that we know we can set on a more consistent basis and if we do that we know what a good team we can be there was elements of the game on Tuesday that they weren't good enough but in saying that we had six one-on-ones we had 17 shots at goal so we, scored, we could have scored a lot more goals you know but a good clean sheet and another home win, mm-hmm. and and you and we got through these cup ma- matches can be very difficult. They can become frustrating, but there was elements of the game that we know we we should have done better, and th- and that's all I said to the players. And and you know I could have come in and went great. We've won. We're through. We're fourth in the league. We're through in the other cup. But I'm always very demanding with the players in the sense that I know there's more in there, and I think that's a compliment to the players really. And from what I've seen of that game, Stevenage, even when they're one 0 down, were quite happy to sort of bide their time and almost mm. try and make it towards the end of the game yeah. with a goal in it, and then try and get you, which yeah. they weren't able to do. Burton, I'm not saying they're similar, but they are hard to beat. Mm. You know, I think uh, only two defeats in, since August. Mm. So, are you prepared for the fact that they're going to be particularly resolute to, to break down? Obviously, you're at home; the impetus will be on yourselves with the attacking numbers you're putting mm. up. Can you see it being a, a bit of a chess game in, in terms of trying to pick them apart? Well, I think it's a, it's a tricky opponent because I actually think Burton will come and have a right go at us. I don't think they'll set off us. I think they'll come and have a right go at us. Um, so in that aspect, it could be quite an open game, which I don't want. But they're a very dangerous opponent. They're a very good possession team. But I think they'll come right after us. And I think we've, we've got to make sure that we manage that part of the game and really get a performance um, that I would expect at home again. Um make sure that we're on the front foot and be aware of the fact that you know we're very good at home and we go into it with a lot of confidence and a lot of belief that we can get another win and after one or two slightly tricky away results in the league is is it sort of about you getting back on the horse in the league at home and you know you've got third place in your sights I know you probably don't pay too much attention on the positions right now as the points totals, but mm. is that a sort of extra incentive just to, would it be your first win in four if you can get one, just, just get back to where you were? Yeah, absolutely. Saturday is a very important game in, in the fact that you just get back to winning ways. You're absolutely correct. And then you look that the following week we've got another home game in the Cup. Um, and then we, we go into December if we get two positive results, third round of the FA Cup, through in the Leasing Cup and probably, in the, well, we are definitely in the top four. With 31 points, probably a little bit short of where I want to be. But no, I would be very satisfied with that. And that's that's what we're going to try and do. And when you put it like that, it all looks really rosy. But that's the well, you, know, you know as much as me that you know things can change quickly. But you've got to be fairly happy with where you sit going into a pivotal part of the season. You know, Absolutely. On all fronts. But we need to win the next couple of games. We know that. We know that we've won the last couple in the cup matches. It's good to get back to league the league programme because it's seemed a while since we've played a league match. You know, even after Saturday, we've then got another couple of weeks for the next league match. So it's been a bit. The crowds are bigger in the league as well. Is it? Just, yeah. do you, do you feel that extra. It's the bread and butter yeah. that we're after, you know, and it's the main priority for the season. But it's been a bit fragmented in terms of league games and in cup games, and then we've had the miss fixture with the very situation. So it would be good to get back to a sort of consistent league program. So Saturday's a big game for us in the sense that get back to winning ways, hopefully, and then we go into December in a real positive frame of mind. And focusing on that Saturday game, at a big selection point, everyone, all the fans we're talking about, was obviously with Ivan Tony being suspended. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you decided in your mind how you might go about covering him? Well, I've decided to a degree, but we're, we are actually waiting on one or two knocks. So there's one or two doubts going into the game. Uh, it won't be finalised until tomorrow, and then I'll have a, 
clearer picture of what my team's going to be. And I know you've tended to stick with two up front, uh, and, and you said before that might still be your preferred option. Is that still your feeling now, or, or does that sort of depend on one or two players, as you just alluded to? Well, no, I, I've got a great belief in what we do in terms of one, once or twice I've tweaked it within games in particular, but really we've been pretty consistent in the shape that we've played. We've had to change formations within games when we've not been doing uh, the original, the starting formation as well as I'd hope. And I think it's important that we've always got that little tweak within the starting team and also if you make changes. But I've got a big belief in what we do and I think the players should do. I think, you know, we can't get away from the fact that generally it's been going quite well and the shape of the team has been good. And because of that, we've, you know, we're top goal scorers in the country through it. So I think to go away from that, um, I think at times you can. The Shrewsbury game I did for the reasons that I felt was right. But generally we've stuck to that formation and I think it works for us. Uh, there's a lot of people talking about Ricky J Jones and yeah. what he's doing. Did you like that, or do you need? Do you, would you like people to calm down with him? He is still a, a boy, after all, I suppose. Well, yeah, he's just a kid, and uh, we've just got to be mindful of that. But at the end of the day, when you get young players through that burst onto the scene and score two and two, and mm. uh, it's it's obvious that there's going to be a lot a lot of attention to him. Me as his manager, I've got to make sure I manage that, and it, within house we keep it quite calm. But the boy's a very level-headed boy; his family are as well, so there will be no problems with that. I think the boy deserves to be involved with us. I see him now as a first-team member, as opposed to a youth team player, and he's done very, very well. And he, you know, he's got the obvious pace, but he, he can get a goal, which he's shown in the last week, um, and he's very much in my thoughts. And I know you've got one or two players who've been struggling with one or two. Knocks over recent mm. days and weeks. Um, Josh Knight missed Tuesday with mm. a muscle muscle strain. Is, is he back in training? That's the one of the ones that we'll have to wait and see on. Um, there's a couple like that, and Josh is one of those.